Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about toggling. Simply put, toggling is switching between applications or tabs within the same application using keyboard shortcuts. In other words, by the end of this training, you'll know how to quickly and easily move from program to program while keeping your hands on the keyboard. And by doing so, you'll be able to speed up your workflow and get more done in less time. I'm going to teach you how to toggle between open programs, toggle up a minimized program, toggle between tabs, open a new tab, close an existing tab, as well as toggle between the windows of the same program. I'll begin by demonstrating the basic toggle. As you can see, I have both text edit and Safari brought up and on screen. Of course, I can flip back and forth between them simply by clicking on the application or by clicking on each application's respective icons. But that's not the most efficient way. By learning to toggle and keep my hands on the keyboard, I'm able to greatly increase my speed between programs and therefore my efficiency. So to toggle from text edit to Safari, I'm going to hold down the command key and tap the tab key once. In doing so, I've brought up my toggle toolbar. As I continue to tap the tab key, I move the toolbar's highlight from application to application that's running on my Mac. I'm going to toggle to Safari and then remove my finger from the command key. By doing so, I've quickly toggled to Safari. If I want to toggle back to text edit, it's just another command, tap tab, let go. As you can see, each program that I've just toggled from is the next one I can toggle back to with a quick command tab. So to toggle between these two applications, it's command, tab, command, tab. And I can do this as much as I'd like. But what if I want to toggle to a program that's been minimized to my dock? To demonstrate this, I'm going to minimize text edit down to my dock and make sure that Safari is active. Now that I'm on Safari and I want to toggle to text edit, I'm going to try the way I demonstrated before. Command, tab, there's text edit, let go. Mm, sure enough, nothing comes up. I need a way to tell the Mac OS that I do in fact want to bring this program up as part of the toggle. So I'm going to do a command tab. I'm going to continue to tap tab until text edit is highlighted. But this time, instead of just letting go of the command key, I'm going to press the side of my thumb against the option key, which is right next to command, and I'm going to remove the command key. Sure enough, text edit comes up. Let's try that one more time. Minimize text edit, command tab, all the way until it's highlighted. Hold down the option key, remove command, and it comes right up. Now that I have demonstrated how to toggle between two different applications, I'd like to demonstrate how to toggle between two tabs within the same application. This specifically adheres to any program with tabbed navigation. So text edit's gonna be out since it's not a tabbed program, but Safari will fit the bill nicely. I'm going to make my Safari a little bit bigger here. And we only have one tab open right now, so I'm gonna send that one to net.tutsplus.com. And then I'm going to open another tab to say wordpress.tutsplus.com. And let's open yet a third tab here to mac.tutsplus.com. So now that I have these three tabs up, I can of course use my mouse to bounce from tab to tab. But again, that takes my hands off the keyboard and is not the most efficient way. I want to use a keyboard shortcut to move between these tabs and keep my hands on the keyboard. To do this, I'm going to hold down Command, Shift, and I'm going to use the bracket keys to move either left or right. If I move right, it wraps around to the very first tab, left wraps around to the last tab, and I can continue to move left or right just by tapping the directional bracket that I want to move in. While I'm on the subject of tab navigation, I'd like to show you how to quickly add a new tab and close existing ones. Quite simply to add a new tab, I'm going to hit Command and T. To remove an existing tab, Command W. So once again, Command T adds a new tab, Command W removes it. Let's say I'd like to get rid of that middle tab that's at wordpress.tutsplus.com. Command Shift left bracket over there, Command W to close it. Let's say I'd like to bring that back, Command T to bring up a new tab, wp.tutsplus.com. And now I can navigate back, Command Shift left to mac.tutsplus.com, Command Shift left bracket to net.tutsplus.com. Now that I have three tabs pulled up, I'd like to demonstrate how to switch between two windows of the same application, 
Keep in mind, this isn't the same as switching between two tabs in the same application. In fact, to demonstrate this, I'm going to pull this net.tutsplus.com tab off of Safari so it becomes its, its own window. Now that it's become its own window, I need to be able to toggle between it and the other two tabs on the other window. To do this, I'm going to hold down Command and tap the tilde key right above the tab key. Notice that I've switched back to the window with two tabs. If I Command tilde again, I'm back to the net.tutsplus with a single open tab. Command tilde, there's my mac.tutsplus with the two tabs. Command tilde, there's net.tutsplus.com all by itself. So as a review, if I'd like to toggle between two open programs, it's command tab. To toggle up a minimized program, it's command tab, but be sure to hold option upon the release. To toggle between two tabs in an existing window, it's command shift, left bracket or right bracket. To open a new tab, it's Command T. To close an existing tab, it's Command W. And if I'd like to toggle between windows of the same application, it's Command tilde. On a personal note, these might feel a little uncomfortable and difficult to learn at first, but once you do, you'll be surprised by the amount of time you save by keeping your hands on the keyboard and quickly and easily switching between programs. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial on Tuts Plus.